Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Let's state the obvious. Gas prices are insanely high right now. And what's maybe worse, they're expected to stay that way. The last time we saw record gas prices was in the summer of 2008. Those records stood for almost 14 years until March. Since then, records have been shattered over and over again. Now, there are many reasons for this. The first is Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Russia is one of the largest oil exporters on the planet. Now, very little of its oil went into the United States in 2021, but oil, like other commodities, is traded on global markets, not just the US-based one. The Russian war of aggression against Ukraine uh, is uh, causing a significant supply shock. It is having a, a significant negative effect on growth, and it is pushing up uh, inflation higher and for longer. The problem is some of Russia's biggest customers, most notably in Europe, are banning Russian oil. And although Russia is still finding buyers for its crude at a discount, the country is having a harder time selling its petroleum products. In short, the loss of Russian energy impacts prices around the world, no matter where it's used. The second reason is that COVID lockdowns in China are easing. China's zero COVID policy, especially in Shanghai, helped depress energy prices earlier this year. But those restrictions are now being lifted, driving up demand as people in China travel, shop, and dine out more. And finally, reason number three, supply of oil has been slow to recover from the COVID crash. Demand for oil plummeted when the world plunged into pandemic lockdowns in 2020. As a result, the United States, OPEC, Russia, and other suppliers slashed production at a record pace. Those barrels have come back online, but only gradually. And in the meantime, the world is chipping away at its buffer of oil inventories, a phenomenon that is unnerving investors. Even as oil supply returns, production of gasoline has lagged behind. That's in large part because the United States doesn't have enough refineries that produce gasoline, jet fuel, and diesel. No new refineries have been built in America in nearly half a century. As the classic economic rule goes, a surge in demand of something in low supply almost always means a rise in prices. So where is all this headed? Well, many experts warn gas prices will stay high and perhaps go even higher until supply and demand come into balance. And if you're looking for help from the government, President Biden has conceded there's very little he can do to bring down the cost of gasoline. If you're looking to save on gas, the only thing to do now is to try to use less of it. Of course, for many, that's not really possible. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.